Hey folks, here we go. We got uh, this panel laid out in three sections. I'm gonna make this section here in the middle, the wax, this here. I'm gonna make the section here, this big section, the uh, spray wax or the, the McGuire's spray here. And then of course down here at the very tip of the panel here, the very small portion of the panel is gonna be the control section. So I'm shaking this stuff up really, really well. It says apply it, allow it to sit on the panel for about three to five minutes basically, and then buff it off. It won't haze over like most waxes do. So I'm gonna apply just a small amount because I don't want it to be hard to get off, hard to remove. I'm not saying that it will, but it may. <clears throat> Oh, it's, man, that smells so good. I'm doing it in the cross hatch type of. Uh, the, only, the main thing I'm worried about covering is these uh, markers. See what kind of protection we're going to get. As these these markers were applied about 12, 13 hours ago, and yeah, they've been allowed to sit on the panel. I'm going to apply this twice. I don't know if my camera's going to shut off. The battery's about dead. I'm going to apply it twice and buff it off. Then we'll allow it to sit 24 hours. So I'm going to reapply this. Man, this stuff's smooth. I'm going to sit on here for two to five minutes. And now I'm going to reapply it. Man, that's smooth. That is, that is smooth. I like that. I like the feel. Feels nice, no grab at all. All right, now I'm gonna reapply the product here one more time. Buff it in the pad. <clears throat> Same thing. Put it on. Now it doesn't say you have to apply it twice. I'm just trying to get, make sure I got plenty of protection on here. Now again, we're gonna let this sit on here for 24 hours, then I'm going to reapply it along with the hybrid, hybrid spray. The hybrid spray has to be, you know, wet once it gets put on there, applied and then rinsed off. So what I'll do is I'll take my plastic, I have some plastic that I'll cover this area here. Rinse it off. I don't really have to cover this area on this particular one because it's, it's supposed to set up, but I want to be fair. All right, be back in two to three minutes. All right, folks, this is set up now for three minutes since I left the camera, and we're going to take it off. There's a, I think there's a slight haze to this, but not, not like you would think. This stuff is really smooth. Apply it. I love the way this goes on and just how it feels underneath the towel. And of course the blueberry smell. Alright. <clears throat> there we go, folks. That's been applied. Now we're going to apply the McGuire's spray. Put two spritz on there. Massage it in. Alright. Just make sure we get good application. Panel here, covering the uh, markers mainly. They smell identical. They both smell good. They're just like blueberries. Now this doesn't say anything about letting it sit up for five minutes. Uh, it talks about the initial application uh, can be buffed off and then the second application after 24 hours has to be um, rinsed off. So. <clears throat> but we're going to set up and let this set up for three to five minutes just like we did the wax here. All right folks, in three minutes. Let's Buff this off now. 
Now, to be honest and be fair, there's a little more drag when you're initially taking this other stuff off. It's thicker. You can feel how, how much thicker it is. Got a little bit of a marker coming off there. Um, on the initial removal, you can feel how much thicker it is. But after you kind of get that initial, uh, the thickest part of it off, it starts smoothing out. So there's a little bit more drag to this, it feels like, than it is on this side. But it could be just me. It could be metal. Alright, so this is the initial application. We're going to come back in at least 24 hours from now, at least 24 hours from now. Apply another coat of wax here. Another coat of this wax here, ceramic wax to that side. And then we'll apply another coat of the spray, ceramic spray, to this side. Then we'll allow it to set up for another 24 hours, so two days from now. And we'll do a little torture test, see how it does. All right, folks. We're here with the follow-up video. I don't know how the glare is going to be with this GoPro. We're here with the follow-up video for the ceramic spray versus the ceramic liquid wax from McGuire's. Both of these were from McGuire's. Little torture tests. I was debating whether I should leave this tape on here or take it off. I'm going to leave it on here. Of course, we have our control panel. We have our ceramic spray. It's been applied and allowed. Both the, all this stuff's been allowed to sit for over 48 hours. But it's got two applications to, of both of these, the wax and the spray. So now we're going to do a little bit of a torture test. The main thing we're seeing here is to see if they're pretty much equal. See if they've been applied the way they're supposed to be applied. This is allowed to sit as long as this, even though this, should, don't, this shouldn't take as long to cure. But we've allowed it to sit. And now... What we're hoping is that we're hoping the control panel side is going to break down first and these are going to hold up equally. So let's see. First off, let's, uh, let's throw some water on there. Let's see what they do as far as bead, beading off the bat. Not anything else. Like that. And I know this isn't like a water hose. You apply a lot. All right. All the beads are uniform. You have real small ones and you have bigger ones. And they're uniform on the entire panel, even on the control over here. And the control isn't as uniform. They're a lot flatter. There are also small beads there now, but they aren't as uniform as this spray and the wax. So, of course, when I start flooding the panel, beads get bigger and then they start to start to move which is kind of cool it shows how shows how the surface tension starts to let these things break off and roll away it's actually really neat and you can see you see the beads build on each other get bigger you still have your smaller ones building on each spray they start rolling away it's really neat to watch and uh Go back to the control panel. Control side, nothing. They will flush away eventually, but not not as deliberate as these two areas. All right. So that's just plain water. Use some all APC all-purpose cleaner. Go with the wax uh, first. And go back with the spray. And then control section. All right, folks, I'm going to sit down on there for one minute. Think. All right, folks, this is going over a minute. That's okay, though. All right, this is there. McGuire's APC. So let's see what we've got. We'll start with the wax. Something's coming off on the wax here, folks. And this is on the 
This is on uh, the wax side. All right. Let's go ahead and wipe off the other sections here. All right, this is the spray. Something's coming off from there also. And it's just APC. Now, I know it's and something's coming off of the control panel. I'd really be concerned if something wasn't coming off of the control panel. So, so let me wipe these clean. Let me neutralize them with some water. off again now it's neutralized all right APC set on here about two minutes I had to walk inside I only wanted to sit there for one minute but actually that's not a bad thing the APC it was full strength but it's probably one of the least aggressive things I have other than my vehicle and boat wash which is usually what I start with. Alright. So let's see what we got here folks. The painter's marker broke down the fastest. On all three. I don't know how well it's showing up on the camera. And this thing's a pain to take off this tripod. But it it broke down equally there you go equally on all three the same so what's that tell me the APC broke the entire panel down both all three sections the same so that's telling me that it removed the Meguiar's wax spray and the control panel the same now let's look at the other areas this is the chisel tip marker here and on the control panel of the chisel tip, it's got a little bit of the um, the marker, the meat of the marker pulled away. Seems to be, seems to held up on the other two decently. At least the pro marker on all three sections look good, so we're gonna keep on. So pretty much the painters, the painters uh, markers out of the out of the race. Let's go with the super degreaser. I'm a McGuire super degreaser. I got my own bottle. We're gonna let it set up. Let's start with this. Control. Alright folks. I may just leave the camera rolling for two minutes and put it on fast forward and let you see this stuff work its way in. Folks, that should be right at two minutes. I didn't start my stopwatch right away. But all right, let's start with the spray. Here, see what happens here. A little bit, a little bit of marker or pin on there. Okay. Wipe off the control. Two wipes. Control's breaking down on the chisel tip marker. Neutralize it again with the water. Like someone put, pointed out on my channel, you never know how some of these chemicals are going to react. Could be dangerous. So neutralize them with some water. Might be safe if we can. All right. Nothing else, the water should break them down far enough where they're not going to one another or me. Alright, folks, so 
part of the meat of the marker here on the chisel tip up here starting to starting to get ate away, starting to be ate away, I guess you could say. Just on those lines over there. But everywhere else looks good here on the wax. On the spray, a small portion down here starting to be starting to fade out. Control, same thing, got little areas on the L, the S, the C. Down here starting to get ate away. The pro marker seems to still be intact on all three. So what's going on here with me as far as I'm concerned, the paint painter's mark is gone. And they they all left the panel equally. Almost like there was nothing there. The chisel tip is being is being is being ate away gradually but equally that's the key to me that's the key equally and so far the pro is still going strong all right so let's do this all right we're going to do the eagle one this is supposed to be a spray and it's more either way start with the control i'm only going to really worry about the areas and like like the other test guys i'm going to I'm going to wipe this stuff in, I'm going to rub this stuff in, at least to give it full coverage, to be fair. Folks, this should be getting there. All right, two minutes. All right, so started with control, I believe. Wipe it loose. All right, it lost. It lost on the chisel. There's gone. It's starting to come off. But the wax on the chisel also. The key here, guys and girls, is that it's it's uniform over the entire panel, almost like there's nothing there. Now, to be fair to the products here, we're using chemicals that this stuff's not designed to These products aren't designed to keep this kind of stuff back. But be fair to the consumer. All right, so the chisel tips pretty much gone. There's a little meat on this R here, but nothing, nothing I would consider relevant. But again, it's equal amongst all. As a matter of fact, let me bring you guys. Out. All right, let's use my. Use my. There we go. So you can see there's basically just ghosting. I'm going to bring the light real close first. All right, fade away with it. All right, just ghosting. And this is the same on all three areas for the chisel tip. All right, just a ghosting effect there. All right, the painter's pen, you can see it's gone. It's gone. All right, let's go back over here to the Pro. Pro pin still intact for the control section. Still intact for the and it's still intact for the wax. All right, well, now we're going to hit it with some. We're going to hit it with some uh, super clean. See what happens. All right, so super clean. <sighs> Yeah. 
All right, folks. All right, folks. This has uh, been two minutes on this one here. So let's see how it goes. Let's start with the wax. All right. The really the only two only one we're worried about really is the pro, and it's coming loose there a little bit. Let's go with the wax. Same thing. Starting to break loose a little bit there. Control. Right. Again, guys, it's. I don't know if it's because I'm going two minutes on this and these things are just eating away. But they're, I mean, they're pretty much identical. I'm going to bring you folks back in again. They're pretty much identical here, folks. On all three. Now, this section right here has no protection, had zero. You can see there's, there's still something there, but if you look at the meat of the letters, they're it's being ate away. Try to put this light where there's no glare. There you go. You see that end? The end's got just a small part there in, in the lower part of the end. The O in the middle there. But each one of these letters have, have some missing. All right, let's go up here to the spray. Same thing. Top part of the S has some meat to it, but the, everything else is pretty much shadowed out. All right, and that's on the spray. Reload there, the word reload, it's, this is probably the, the E and the bottom of the R, bottom of the E and R is probably the thickest part of this entire word, but it's being ate away. If I would say that the reload here is probably the best of what's left on all these, but that's really not saying a lot, folks. All right, and over here, let's just go over here. This entire area is just a ghost. And if you've watched any of my other videos, once it's ghosting like this, that means everything's gone. Everything that's there to adhere to the panel is gone. Because what I usually do here is I have to get the, the buffer out and polish these off. Polish these, uh, just ghosting off. Same thing with this, I'll have to polish that off. And you see the painter section? This is why I like the acrylic paint. Because it'll let go once it's once it's um you know once you're using the right products it'll let go of the panel completely i still think the the acrylic paint is probably the best representation of what's what the product's doing to protect the panel but that's just me uh, you guys you tell me if y'all can think of another product whether it be a marker or paint some type of paint something that I can remove from the panel that'll actually come loose from the panel while I'm trying to do this. Uh, something better than what I'm using, please let me know in the comments. But we're gonna do one more, one more, actually I'll tell you what, we're not gonna do spray, we're gonna do the alcohol. Control section. Three wipes, it's pretty much gone. Now we'll go to the spray. Three. Three. Same thing. And now the wax. Two, three. Two. Right, pretty much the same. Alright, so what's my conclusion to this? The conclusion to this is these products aren't made designed to hold up to harsh chemicals. They're not a ceramic. You know, again, again, they're using the word technology or whatever. Each individual uh, product wants to label, you know, whatever. It's not. It's not a ceramic. Okay. They're not designed to hold up against harsh chemicals, uh, especially if you leave them on there. Probably if you sprayed some, you know, APC or degreaser on your car, if it's an overspray around your wheels, you know, around the, the wheels, and it gets up on the car panel here, and you get your, you know, a damp microfiber clean, and you wipe it off, wipe it off immediately, it'll probably hold up. 
but it's not designed to spray and sit there and just work its way in. These products aren't designed to do that. That's part of partly why they come up with other redundant products, you know, like, um, or whatever, a quick detailer, a quick uh, spray, spray and wipe. So maybe let me go, let me let me know in the, the comments if you want to see stacking videos where I, I bring something like a a turtle wax polish, do a panel with a polish, then come back with a detailer and just stack it, and then hit it with then with a um, degreaser. All right, folks. I'm sorry I probably drugged this thing way way out. Uh, right now it's showing me at 33 minutes. Of course some of this is going to be knocked down just from editing and or speeding the video up. So if you guys would slam the like button, slam subscribe button, let me know what you'd like to see when it comes to detailing products or even just open box stuff or what you'd like to see me do on these panels to to really test these products. Again, thanks for watching this. Like and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys next time.